let's go. It is January the 1st, 2018, and one last video I'm going to make on Dirt Cutter as far as the Buccaneers deciding to keep him, and then I'll move on to something else because there's a lot of things going on in the NFL right now. You got the college playoffs starting today, but I wanted to hit on this one last time because I watched all the press conferences, the player interviews after the Buck Saints game yesterday, and the most insightful out of all of them came from Clinton McDonald as to why I think they decided to keep Dirk Cutter as the head coach going into 2018. He gave an, an answer to a reporter in the locker room yesterday that I just felt like was super insightful when they asked him, did the players play hard over the last month to try to save Dirk Cutter's job, to keep him from getting fired? And his response to that question, I felt like was so insightful as to why they may have decided to keep Dirk Cutter because the players just never gave up because Dirk Cutter never gave up, even when the season was lost. I mean, this team went in, the fans went into this season with high expectations, and we fell well short of those expectations. So for Dirk Cutter, even when everything was just completely lost and there was no chance of making it to the playoffs, for him to come in and to stay consistent, to keep working hard, and, and to never give up on his team, I feel like that was big, and, and Clinton McDonald pretty much says that. So I'm gonna add that on to the end of this video. But this will be the last time I really talk about this. Um, you know, we're going into the off season for the Bucks, so there won't be a lot of news regarding that. Um, I'll get into other stuff and some of these other coaching moves that are gonna go on and how that will affect the Bucks, because I think it may. But nevertheless, we'll talk about that another time. I'm gonna go ahead and add on the Clinton McDonald interview here, and uh, I will see y'all soon. I'm out. Along those same lines, you guys fought your butts off this last month, even yes, after sir. being eliminated from the playoffs. Yes, sir. How much of that was to try to save your head coach's job? I think um, I feel like coach came to, to work every day, and regardless of how our playoffs playoff berth ended or, or, or went on. Coach didn't let any anybody down in the way he coached us, and he, he he still stayed, you know, consistent on us, as in doing our job and them doing their job. And when you see a coach like that that stare down in the face of adversity, who goes into a season having high expectations, but it doesn't end the way he wants it to end, and he still is the same coach he was in the all season to now, it just speaks volumes, and it, and, it, and it allows guys to see that our leader, our head coach, hadn't called it in. He hadn't called it quit, so we didn't either.